Hi there. This is my cat. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Max and this is Dan. He is my lovely boy. He's a cat and he's very handsome. He's beautiful. <laughs> and I'm in a different place to usual because Dan doesn't like the extension, which is where I normally film my intros. He gets scared for some reason because you're very silly, aren't you? We're just here on my bed, which is where he likes to sit. Anyway, to the point of the video, um, today I'm making a cat sculpture based on Dan, the prince of my life. My prince charming. I'm sure this will be a very enjoyable experience and we will get to see what he thinks about it later. I started by cutting off a bit of clay that was quite big and then just playing with it for a bit to make it nice and soft and not really shaping it into anything, just making sure that it was mouldable. And then I started to elongate it a bit into a sort of cylindrical shape and after that I sort of pinched it a bit and moved all the clay around to make paw shapes and I adjusted all the shoulders and everything until they were just right. Next, I cut off another bit of clay that was slightly smaller and I rolled it into a ball. I played with it like I did the first time, just like moving it around to make sure it was nice and soft. I used quite a lot of water as well to make sure that it could take different shapes and wasn't just going to fall apart. Then I used this water and my thumbs to sort of smooth out edges and make little indents for where his eyes were going to be because this is going to be his head. After doing that for a while I decided it was finished and I smoothed it onto his head using uh, the tool that is meant to be a palette knife but I use it for clay mainly and I then went back to the bottom of him and I started pulling out the sides to make back legs that were coming around to the front. I smoothed out his arms and chest shape to make it more curvy and look more like a cat sitting up and I added more clay to his paws to make them a little bit bigger and more stylized. I then viciously tore off his head and added a whole extra bit to it which was doubling it in size pretty much because I really wanted to make him look very cartoonish and out of proportion so I just enlarged his head uh, so it was like half the size of his body. With this, I just repeated the process from the first time and because I had a bit of practice, it went a lot faster. I made his snout a little less long and I added ears as well. Um, for the ears, I just sort of flattened out a piece of clay and then sort of pinched the top together to make like a corner. And then I used the same technique with the palette knife that I used to attach his head the first time to secure those to the back of the head. I rounded out two small bits of clay for his eyes. I wanted them to look like they were sort of bulging out a bit just to make him even more cartoony and stylized. Um, this actually did end up being quite cool in the end and I also added clay to his snout to make that a little bit longer. And finally I thought that it was done but then no, he's got his nose <laughs> and so I added a nose and I also like added an whole extra chin bit to him because he was looking a little bit flat and then he was done supposedly but I kept fiddling with him and playing around with his eyes and the side of his face and stuff because he was looking a little bit iffy and finally I attached him to his body and I used some cross hatching to do that 
and I smoothed him down with my fingers and made sure everything was secure. As you can see, uh, that took quite a while because his head's so big, I had to spend ages trying to make sure it wouldn't fall off. But the next thing I did was make his little tail. For that, I just rolled out a long, fat piece of clay, and as I elongated it, I had to cut off bits from the side because it was getting so fat and chunky. Uh, when that was done, I attached it to the back of him. I sort of curled it round in an S shape and then attached it using cross hatching, which you can't really see because his ears are in the way, but there you go. Uh, yeah, I just bent it round a bit to make it look like it was waving a little bit. And I also added even more nose to him. And finally he was done and I left him out to dry and while he was outside he developed a little caterpillar visitor that sat on his eyeball which I will show you now. We shall call him Clive the Caterpillar. After about a week he was completely dry and I started painting him. Um, normally they dry a lot faster, but because he was completely solid, it took him quite a while to dry the whole way through. I started by painting him with black, but it was black with a little tiny bit of white mixed in so was, I could do shading and stuff. But the shading didn't actually end up showing up that well, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, I had a bit of trouble painting him just because of like how I had to hold him and the angles and things because I couldn't like get any paint on my hands because then I'd get black paint on the white bits and things like that and that's quite difficult to fix. I went over all of the non-black areas with white just to cover up any little bits of black that might have gotten where they shouldn't and I painted the eyes a sort of medium yellow and then a sort of brownish purple for the nose and for the inside of the ears. I added all the details on the face afterwards because I would have had to hold him a certain way for the camera to be able to see him and that would have been a bit difficult. Um, <laughs> he's a little bit derpy looking. Um, but it's okay, he's a cartoon. <laughs> um, next I decided to make whiskers for him with clay, which I didn't originally intend to do, but his face was looking a little bit bare and sparse without them. And my cat has a lot of whiskers, he's got eyebrow whiskers as well, but uh, I wasn't going to make those because I feel like that would just look a little too overcrowded on his face. So I just rolled out some short strips of clay and left them to dry for his whiskers. Turns out Whiskers was a bit of a bad idea. I could not, for the life of me, get them to stick to his face. Oh, he looks so derpy from this angle. I love him. Uh, but yeah, that one's even like broken, that one there. So the Whiskers is a no. So, uh, yep, yeah. bye. finished it and now we get to see Dan's reaction. Is he your new best friend Dan? Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Do you like him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it for this week. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed Dan and his uh, supreme acting skills. He's very good on camera. He's been practicing. If you want to see me doing more stuff with Clay or more stuff with Dan, then leave a like and let me know in the comments, and I will see you next week.